Look at the destruction going on in here. <laughs> now, wondering why am I walking around in the forest with a couple of uh, pool pool cleaners, whatever this is called. This whole area right here is actually about two feet above water. And that excavator is where the water uh, kind of goes uphill and about stops there. It gets just mucky and tacky underneath the snow, but kind of ends there. So basically, the other day I was coming with the dozer, the 550H case dozer. Okay, now as I was driving out of the forest, I thought, hey, it's a great opportunity. I'll get a little video of me coming out of the forest. You know, the edge of the forest is right there. So I thought, I'll just stick the camera on the roof of the uh, the dozer, and I'll get a cool shot of me exiting the uh, the forest. And next thing you know, it's about a foot of water, probably about where those trees are there. It's about a foot of water, and as I kept going, the dozer started having a really hard time breaking the ice. And you can kind of see my little path of destruction. I wonder how much it's actually frozen. Brought in these trusty uh, rubbers. Rubber protection. What? Because <laughs> this is actually a trail. We cleared out this trail years ago. But what we didn't realize at the time is we were here in the winter. And it wasn't as much water. But something happened. And now this area is very much so underwater. But anyways, I was trying to get through these trees. But the dozer was just going the way it was going. And right here it was leaning a lot to the side like that and uh, I could not turn it went all the way and you can actually see right where I nudged this tree I just you can see my trail right here and I almost passed it but the blade just nicked right here by about three inches I, I couldn't pass that tree I was sitting kind of on an angle the left side track completely submerged underwater the right side track barely visible at the top I had water almost at my feet in the dozer so I started panicking and I just had to get out so I backed up real quick backed up all the way to the excavator. As I got to where the excavator was, I remembered, oh, my camera. I start looking, all I see is this floating water and ice chunks everywhere, and I'm like, great, the camera's in there. And now what I think happened, I think I hit this branch, and I think this branch knocked the camera off. And my assumption is that the camera landed somewhere between this branch and the excavator here at the beginning. I was here again that night. This was like at 5 o'clock. I ran to get these magnets and stuff. I was here in the dark with Mario for like an hour with magnets going along the whole floor of this water. I fell in up to my knee in the water and it was very, very cold. We're going to see if we can just take the ice off the top. Be very careful. I don't want to be scooping, disturbing the soil underneath. I'm going to try and break up this ice, put it to the side as gentle as possible so that I can freely pass the nets along the bottom and the magnet and I really hope I find my camera because I had about it was a big memory card I had about four to five hours worth of videos of different projects I had going on that I'd like to show you guys but anyways I'm gonna do this and hopefully I find it and also a quick apology for the quality of this camera not that my other one's amazing but this is a lesser quality sports camera so bear with me please hopefully I find this one and we can get back to the better quality uh, videos here so let's jump in here and uh, see if we can take some of this ice out Got a bunch of water down my right boot. I had the water touch a few times, very close to the rim, a little droplets in, but that was a good splash in there. That was a bit of a hole I think I went into. I don't know. It might just be a lost cause, but I'll stay positive. I'll try and break that up over there, and uh, hopefully it's there and we find it. Let's uh, let's go find out.
Okay, so I brought the excavator on this side, try to stay far away from uh, the edge. So I gave myself about 20 feet. I got that kind of roughly out. I don't want to be digging too hard. It's a lot harder sideways. This doesn't look as pretty though. <laughs> it's a lot of floating uh, chunks of ice. Let's almost grab a rake, which I don't have here now because I'm in the middle of the forest. All right, well, I went to go and try and get some uh, waders because my other pants were soaked. I had to go change pants. But I was trying to get some waders and I couldn't find them. So I'm going to try and just go off the edge and uh, hopefully that works. I was trying that a bit, but these sticks are too short. Brought a longer one, but doesn't work with these things. So, of course, look at all these attachments I have. Nothing here works. Anyways, I'm going to try them from the edge, see if we can find it. And uh, hopefully we do because it's already glazing over. I just left for like 20 minutes, half hour, and it's already got a nice glaze of, uh, of like starting again. I just found that that is crazy I oh man I was literally just about to give up look at the destruction going on in here <laughs> holy that I don't even know <laughs> I feel like I won the lottery is that probably sounds really cheesy but I feel like I just won the lottery that is crazy holy so it was right here right here so it's a dozer length that was the back of the dozer when I hit that tree. So I was coming along, the blade hit that from the blade. Tracks by the time I get to the back. So when I hit that tree, that last jar is where I probably shake this thing off and it fell right there. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Holy, that's got to be a good... Oh, that's going to be at least 80 feet. From way past that tree where those ice blocks are. All the way up to this tree. That's probably a good 70, 80 feet. That <laughs> just rake. I can't believe that, man. I was really feeling something there, and I kept going with the rake. I'm like, I'm, I swear I'm hitting something. Probably ice, because I felt that same thing like a hundred times, but that time it was it. Wow, I'm super stoked. Well, hopefully the memory card's good, and I can at least get the battery, the memory card out of this. It is waterproof, so I'm assuming it's good. I'm excited to go uh, try this thing out and see what happens. Wow. Anyways... I'm super pumped. Hope you guys are too. <laughs> Probably not as excited as I am, but anyways, that was something. Wow. Wasn't expecting that. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoy watching that. If you did and you supported that, <laughs> please uh, drop a thumbs up. I'm super happy. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Hopefully not for more content like this because I don't want to be doing this again, but for other type of digging stuff. Anyways, guys, thanks for coming through this with me and we'll catch you next time.